All right, good afternoon, everyone. I am uh, Council Member Rafael Salamanca, Chair of the Subcommittee on Planning, Dispositions, and Concessions. Welcome to today's hearing. Uh, we're joined today by Council Members uh, Andy Cohen and Council Member Darlene Mealy. We will not be holding any hearings today. LU 746, the NCP Park and Elton Apartments tax exemption application will be laid over. We will be voting on the Lower Concourse North applications. LU 747 through 750, the Lower Concourse North rezoning seeks approval for the disposition of city-owned property, a zoning map amendment, a zoning text amendment, and a special permit. These approvals will facilitate the development of the site located on the Harlem River, just north of 145th Street Bridge in the Bronx. The proposed development would include over 1,000 units of housing and a mix of retail, office, community facility uses, and a significant amount of publicly accessible open space. The development, the development site is located in the Speaker's District. She supports these applications with modifications. The modifications will, will remove MIH Option 2 and add the Deep Affordability Option. Option 1 will be retained, so Option 1 and Deep Affordability will apply to the site. Additionally, the height of Phase 2 project will be reduced from 400 to 375. The, speak, the Speaker couldn't be here today, but asked that I read a brief statement on her behalf. Throughout the EULA process, I have heard the concerns voiced about this project and have worked hard to ensure this project responds to them and brings quality open space, community facility, and cultural space, and much needed affordability housing to the South Bronx community. An open space, on open space, the project will deliver approximately 2.6 acres of open spaces, a waterfront, Esplanade, and an explanation, and an expansion of Mill Pond Park and a public plaza along Exterior Street. The developer will also be required to incorporate a publicly accessible bathroom as part of the Phase 1 project. EDC and Parks will complete a long-promised park, one that was mapped as part of the 2009 Lower Concourse rezoning on 144th Street. The city is currently going through the condemnations process to acquire the mapped parkland located along the Harlem River waterfront on East 144th Street in order to develop a new waterfront park. Additionally, the Parks Department will invest in existing open space through the allocation of $6.8 million in funding in the Bronx Community Board 4 to reconstruct the Franz Siegel ball fields. This will complement council funding for this year's fiscal year 2018. On affordability, phase one will remain 600 permanent affordable units of housing, including deeply affordable units at the following income levels. At least 20% for households earning no more than 30% of the AMI, including 10% for formerly homeless households. At least 30% of units at or below 60% of AMI. At least 20 of units at or below 80% of AMI. At least 15% of units at or below 100% AMI. No units will exceed 130% AMI. Phase two of the development will include the following parameters on affordability. 20% of units at 30% of AMI or below. 30% of units between 31 to 60% of AMI. 30% of units between 60 and 130% AMI. And a maximum of 20% of units at market rate above 130% AMI. On height, in response to Community Board Force concerns on the height of the building, the height of Phase 2 will be capped at 375 feet. On schools, I'm happy to announce that the city will site a new approximately 572-seat school located within Subdistrict 3 at, 3 at 639 St. Anne's Avenue to help address the school seat, uh, seat impact. Finally, a community space. This project will provide a large amount of community facility space that is slated to include the Universal Hip Hop Museum, a movie theater, local not-for-profit Bronx Works, and space for other community serving uses. I want to thank the development team, uh, LMM development partners, and Type A project for the discussion thus far and for their commitment to ongoing discussions with the community and EDC, HPD Parks, Community Board 4, and the council staff for their hard work on this project. Uh, with that said, are there any questions from members on the subcommittee? No? All right, so now I will call a vote to approve with the modifications I have described, LU 747 through 750. Council, please call the roll. Chair Salamanca? Aye. Councilmember Mealy? Aye. Councilmember Cohen? I vote aye. 
with three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and uh, zero abstentions. The items are approved with modifications and referred to the full land use committee. Thank you. I would like to thank the council staff and land use staff for preparing today's hearing, and the members of the public and my colleagues for attending. This meeting is hereby adjourned.